Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Caitlin from Caitlin Plans and today I'm going to be doing a spread in my catch-all for the week of August 23rd through 29th. This is my very first week of classes for the semester and the school year. Bringing back the scrapbook paper strips to do something not exactly what I was doing last week but like scrapbook paper is versatile so I'm going to do it along the bottom of the spread to create a landscape for these According to Alley Cacti stickers. My code for that is down below. It is Caitlin15. And I'm thinking I'm just gonna kind of like rip this so it's a torn edge and put them along. And then to do the more functional stuff, I have the Sophisticated Florals book because I thought the gray tones would pair well. I might also find some like green boxes to pair in there, but it looks like it's gonna be a lot of plans. So let's jump right into it. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the decorative edge. So I cut these to the size of the pages, not the rows of boxes like I did last time. And to get that nice white torn edge on the top of it, I'm tearing upwards with the pattern facing towards me. If that makes sense. Um, I want the little white to kind of show. So here's what one of them is gonna look like. And then I'm gonna do the second one. And if it's too much of that white edge, this is really easy just to like tear away to make a nice little thin white line along it. I might go back and do a little more detailing on this one just because it's getting pretty white in some areas. All right, next up is the Tombow Monodots Adhesive. I'm going to go ahead and affix this to the bottom of the pages. They will need to be repunched because this is going to go over the punches, but that's at the end of this video. Those are in place. I'm not exactly sure where the scrapbook paper is from, so I can't tell you where or like what brand it is. The likelihood is probably it's a Maggie Holmes one from Joann's because that's my typical go-to for scrapbook paper, but I can't be for sure. So I'm going to start with the cacti and I guess I'm making like a pink desert spread this week. Again, I don't know why this was the pick for first week of school, but this is kind of what I was feeling. I've been in a little bit of a planner funk. Um, I didn't post a social media video this week. I did plan in my social media planner, but it just, I needed to do it off camera and it turned out to be a sticker explosion. So I'm kind of glad that I didn't film that. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping to be back and a little bit more consistent on YouTube starting soon. I need a white gel pen. So that spot is all whited out and I'm gonna put this cactus right here. These are nice like muted cacti. So they're definitely like a little ghosty. It's kind of fun, transparency wise. Do another one on the other side of the page cause I don't want the similar cacti to be like right next to each other. So I wanna do a cluster over here on the weekend knowing that I do have some things on the weekend, but it's not nearly as much as what I have through the course of the week. It's always interesting planning for a new school year because I have no idea what my schedule is in the back of my head. Like I have it written down on a sheet of paper off to the side so I can make sure that I'm getting everything in the planner, but it's just weird to not be aware of like what's happening on what days. Oh, that's sizing wise, that's not right. Let me peel this up. Actually, no, these are not going to peel up very easily. Some clear sticker paper doesn't like to come off the pages. And I think this is the same one that I use. And I know for a matter of fact, they just, they meld to the pages as soon as you place them. And the heat here probably isn't helping. We don't have AC um, and it is 90 degrees. Having so much fun. Can't wait to be back in my own apartment for the beginning of the school year because I have AC there. That is one of the things I'm looking forward to is AC. So this guy's going to go down here. And then I'll take my remaining two like little shrubbery cacti. I don't know if cacti have like specific names. I think they do. Because I, I feel like I've heard like Swagos and Cause I feel like I've heard, I'm not even going to try, Sagaro? Swagaro? I feel like I, that's a cactus type. Don't come at me. I'm an idiot. I get it. Um, anyway, we're just going to keep planning and I will not be able to inform you of what kind of cacti these are. To me, they are just green. Just green cacti doing their green cacti thing. 
Then this guy is gonna go over here, a little bit more white out for that. It's been a while since I used a white gel pen and a spread, but I'm getting a little bit more um, perfectionist in this one, so it's needed. Okay, we've got a landscape going on and an entire sheet of stickers finished. Mission accomplished. Trying to pick out a big quote for the sidebar and I'm pulling this one out of the mega rainbow book. I think the color will match well. And it says the bravest thing you can be is yourself. And it's a nice big quote for the sidebar. It's gonna need a little bit more white out to get rid of this line. And now I'm gonna place that. It's a big quote. Yeah, I think the colors match up decently. It's not exactly like the color match, but it looks good on the page. So I'm gonna leave it like that. Get this out of the way, cause it's a big sticker book. So I have this Jewel Tone Boxes book and then this one that's Sophisticated Florals. And I'm gonna use those for the more functional stuff. This is the color of boxes that I'm choosing. I don't know if I'm gonna like mix it up like within the monochrome, but I like this. So I'm gonna put this one on Monday cause I have a meeting on Monday and I also want to note that I have to go get a new ID card on Monday. I went to go get some library books the other day when I was down at campus and realized that I don't have my school ID, um, which is important if you want to like get library books or get into buildings. So I want to get that done before I need to be on campus like for the week. Then I'm going to take this size box for Tuesday. I have class and then I have office hours, which I don't know what kind of box I want to use for office hours yet. Maybe some gold in this spread could be fun. I know I say that every single time I make a spread, but some gold could be fun. I also have pink boxes that'll match the pink scrapbook paper. So maybe I pull those in. This could be a no foil spread. Um, I don't know if I have like a opinion about no foil spreads. I don't, oh, these are slightly different widths. Okay. Um, Regardless, um, easier to photograph, but I do like shiny things. So you gotta pick your poison there. And then I have a work shift after office hours. So that's Tuesday's lineup. It looks like I did it uneven, but it's not uneven. The boxes are just not the same length. Although I do like the pink. So leaving it like that. Next up is Wednesday. I'm gonna take another one of these for an appointment. And then I have, let's see, I'm looking at my list. I have class, not sure if that class is online or in person yet. Um, I'm hoping to figure that out in the next few days before the 25th, which is rapidly approaching. So I'll do that. And then I have work that night, but I should do a pink box to keep them like alternating. So let's do this. Oh, that's a slightly darker tone of pink. That's not gonna work. Gonna leave it like that for now. Not coming up with any other solutions. So we're going with the slightly darker tone of pink. Um, how do I feel about having them all kind of cramped up in the top like this? Maybe I bump this one down so it's less noticeably a different color. And there is a gap between those two activities. So that makes sense timeline wise. Just gonna go ahead and move on. So Thursday I am teaching. So I'll do a green box for that. Or maybe I should mix it up and start them down here. We'll start in the middle box on Thursday. And then I have class. So I'll take one of these. Yeah, these are two slightly different book, like different widths. I think the Jewel Tone Boxes book is just slightly wider, which doesn't make any sense why it would be like that. But who am I to question the design choices? And now I'm out of this box, um, so that's fun. I'm gonna mix it up with some polka dot ones, but to make them even, I'm peeling up Wednesday and I'm gonna replace it with a polka dot one. The little dots are cute. So do that. And then Thursday gets a polka dot box. This is a little scattered now. Okay, fine, whatever. 
So far, so good. Pulling yet another colorful boxes book for my Friday thing, and I think this is yet another color of pink, even though it's in the exact same spot. Yep, this is a little bit brighter or darker. I don't know, but that's going up on Friday. We're just mixing up all the tones today. So I got Friday, and then I have a thing on Saturday. I want to get this off my hand, though. So this is going to go up here at the top of Sunday. So far, so good. Oh, I'm out of the one box that I wanted. Okay. This will work. Maybe I should have picked uh, gold instead of all of these different tones of pink. Anyway, so this one goes on Saturday and then this one will go on Sunday. Busy week. Um, still figuring out like how everything is going to work together. But I think I have all of my commitments in place now, so I can kind of do a little bit more decorative stuff with that being done. To balance out this one box that's slightly darker, I'm going to take the same one from that book, the other one, and I'm going to put it on Monday as my reminder to go get a new ID card. That worked out nicely. I'm going to do some checklists with the Sophisticated Florals book because there's some checklists in here that I really like. They're just like gray. Like, this is good. It might be a little too dark but I'll, I'll flip around. Before I get into the checklists, I'm going to take this one that says dreams are for chasing, adding in some more of those gray tones, even though I think the checklist might be darker than these full boxes. I am not going to have time on Thursday for a checklist. I am just like booked um, for maybe 14 hours straight. It's going to be a long day. So that's going there. And then I think I saw another gray one. This one's cute. It just says noted. Hard to put a checklist in there without intersecting that cactus. I could do it on Saturday though. Are these the same color? Yeah. This is just gonna be like a lot of different colors. Okay, noted. And I want some gray on this side of the page, but I can't do a full box there. But this one that says find the joy could be easily cropped because there's so much dead space above the design. So I can place what I want of it without intersecting the cactus. And then I'll take an X-Acto and I'll just trim it down to be like a normal like height. That looks pretty good to me. So find the joy is going on Tuesday. And again, I have a lot of things going on on Tuesday. So I don't really need a checklist on that day. And maybe I don't do checklists in my planner this week because it's gonna be busy. And I'm just trying to figure stuff out so things might just get done when they get done instead of planning them ahead of time. It doesn't feel quite there yet so I'm taking Color Story 4 um, and I'm using these silver stars that came out of the section with the unicorn in it. Don't ask me why stars mix with cacti, it just metallic stars will always be the right choice. And silver probably wasn't my first choice for like a cactus spread but seeing them on the pages I think it's a great move. So I'm gonna just kind of scatter these throughout. I love that there's a combination of individual big stars and then the little star clusters because I can like overlap them like that. Maybe I'll like form like a little trio or like just a little duo is kind of cute. Okay, I'm just gonna keep doing this. Definitely nervous about the first week of school nervous about the semester in general because I'm not sure how long we're really going to last in person if like COVID rates continue to climb and new variants keep happening. I am definitely a little bit more stressed about teaching in person than I thought I was going to be. Should I layer these onto the scrapbook paper? I know this is like a little tangential. Yeah, we'll go onto the scrapbook paper and the cacti. But I don't know. Um, I guess that's not my call to make at this point. So I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing, go to classes and hope for the best and have a pretty planner while I'm doing all those things. So I want some over in the sidebar cause I just like having the sidebar filled, especially when it's not like a checklist of any kind. Cause I mentioned this in a previous video. I rarely will use the sidebar, even if I do set it up to be all like functional it ends up being like a grocery list or back planned and 
that's not the most functional. Back planning is just kind of a pain in the butt, to be honest with you. And there's a reason I haven't posted a lot of after the pen spreads on Instagram lately. It's because I've kind of been in a planner funk. So I just haven't done the planning and I don't want to fill them in so I can post the pictures of them. Got some stars going on over there. I think these are the smallest ones. Go up there with that. That is a good looking sidebar. That might deserve a picture all its own. Then I'm gonna put some more of these in there. I kind of like what I was doing over here and I don't want that to be the only spot of that. So this one's also gonna get some stars on top of it. Even though it makes no sense for the stars to be on the ground, this being the ground, um, I think it's cute. I'm thinking everything else is gonna get planned onto the pages as it arises. So I'm gonna go ahead and punch these. And now we're back on the discs and ready to go for the week. I'm happy with the way this turned out. There was a point where I was like, oh no, I think I made a mistake with the boxes. But adding those silver stars in really brought everything together. Happy about this one. And I think I'm kind of starting to get out of my planner funk. So happy with this. My according to Allie rep code link will be down below. Caitlin15 for 15% off of your purchase. If you entered my giveaway for a thousand subscribers, the results for that are up and there will be a second giveaway. So stay tuned for that. I wanted to offer two different kinds of prizes. So check out my new community tab if you're interested in reading more about that or checking if you won, that kind of thing. So there you have it. If you liked this video, hit that like button down below. You can also subscribe to my channel for more fun planner related content and follow me on Instagram at Caitlin Plans where I share after the pen photos as well as photos of spreads that did not get videos. Thanks for watching and happy planning. <laughs>